Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing for you, something that got sent in to one of my, by one of my subscribers, something they are, uh, let me loan, a knife that I'm really excited to try out and something I probably wouldn't really get a chance to try out otherwise because it's kind of hard to find. So let's dig into this. This was sent to me by Rocky, awesome, awesome subscriber. Thank you so much. He doesn't have any contact information, but if he ever decides to do an Instagram or something like that, I'd be more than happy to give him a shout out. So. But thank you to awesome subscribers like Rocky. All right, so let's dig in. This is going to be kind of cool. By the way, this is also a very first for our channel. We have someone that actually lent a knife. I'm super excited and I'm super honored. I, I got to tell you, it's just one of those really, really cool things. So personally, it kind of blows me away. Anyways, I'm unboxing this as we're about to have some tornadoes. We already had one on Wednesday and we might have another one. So hopefully we'll get through this. Let's see if there's anything in here. All right. Here is the box. Make sure there's no any writing. Nope. And here we go. Good. We'll save the packaging so we can ship that back. That's a good box. All right. So it, it, it is a Spyderco. So obviously today I was opening with my Shaman, my Blade Ops exclusive. This is the Shaman in Elmax steel. Uh, this is a USA made knife. Let's see. Can we see that? Elmax. There we go. Great knife. I love this. It's got the red fat carbon scales and the SME, which is, uh, or CME, sorry, Compression Made Easy by o OCD for EDC. You should check one of those out if you have a compression lock one. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's see what this is. This is the Capara Carp. Oh, can we read that? Capara Carbon Fiber, right? P I N, I'm, or plain. Plain carbon fiber, I guess that's what that is. So let's take a look. all right so here is the knife oh that is pretty yeah i like that carbon fiber oh that looks like it's not um ply peel either that looks like it's real carbon fiber that's really nice i do like that it's nice feel nice texture it's very well done contoured really cool wire clip reversible wire clip which is also awesome for you lefties lefties rejoice it is a compression lock so if you I suspect one of those uh, compression made e easy things could fit on there if you're ever interested in putting one of those on like I have on here. You know, sometimes it it's great, sometimes it's not. If you're a lefty, that's I think that's the reason why he did them so that for left-handed people they could easily open them. But man, I love the pivot. That's a nice looks like titanium pivot. I bet I can check that out. Do I have my magnet up here? I do. Let's grab that real quick. Yeah, that's looks like it's titanium. That's definitely Liner steel, yep, so definitely. And let's look at those screws. Yeah, those are T8s, for sure T8s, at least T8s on those. Even the, even the uh, wire clip, that's really nice. And we have, I don't know who the designer is, I'm gonna have to look that up, but there they are. And I'm sure that's something that we'll talk about in the review, but let's go ahead and give this open with a Spidey Flick. Oh, that's nice, that is really nice. All right, so look at that wonderful blade. So it's called a Capara, am I saying that correctly? Capara, yeah, Capara. And this is a compression lock, let's see. Oh, that is some sweet action. Wow. Yeah, it definitely has gotta be phosphor bronze. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it definitely looks like phosphor bronze. But that's really nice action on that thing. Yeah, that's really smooth. And let's see that. Now this is a user knife, so I mean, I, I'm just excited to, to be able to try this out. Looks pretty centered. I mean, considering this is a user knife and it did travel all the way here from Colorado, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, that's really nice. I like the red backspacer. That's a really nice touch too. That's cool. It's really flush too. I mean, the, the, the craftsmanship on this knife is ri ridiculously nice. Let's see here. Okay, so it's S30B, which if you know Spyderco, Spyderco does such a fantastic job of heat treat. And this one is made in Taiwan at the, I believe it's the Ta uh, tai, Ching, tai Ching factory, which I mean, they just do a great job. I mean, you want to talk about, there's China and then there's Tai Ching Taiwan. Taiwan is like a step above. You know, you have Riot and you have some of those fantastic makers, but Tai Ching really does a fantastic job. I have a smock that's made there and my smock is excellent. Absolutely excellent. But man, this carbon fiber scale, this, uh, I want to say it's twill or is it, but I, I think it's, it looks like it's marbled or yeah, it looks like it's more marbled or something like that. It looks more marbled, but it looks like it's got a pattern, so it could be twill. But it's so beautifully done. And you can see that there's definitely a texture and a contour on there, so it comes really nice soft on the, on the, on the corners there. 
everything is just really flush. I mean, they did a really good job tightening that up. And I love, I love that full flat grind on that blade. Look at that, comes out to a beautiful tip. You see that? That's just a really gorgeous, like ridiculous tip. You can do a lot of work with that. I mean, definitely a functional. Got a, you can choke up. Got a little finger choil there, like typical of most Spydercos. You can do a push cut, do a little precision cut. You can come up here and do like, you know, some work stuff. Um, I guess that would technically be a sheep's foot because it does curve down and has the belly up. Um, I, at least that's what I would call it, a sheep's foot. That would be a true sheep's foot because it's not angled, it's more rounded, right? So beautiful, beautiful job. I love their, always their satin finish. Uh, Spyderco always does such a great job. You know, you can see that, just that wonderfulness there. That's great. Man, and it, and it does fit really well. For being a thin knife as it is, it's got enough width on there and you get a good presentation on that knife for sure. And you can get a good choke up on that knife for sure. And of course the wire clip is always nice because there's nothing digging in, no hot spots. You can grip really tight, there's no issues even for lefties, which is really nice. And the, you know, the compression is just one of those nice locks where you can, you can flick it like a button lock, you know? So you can almost flick it open and close. But man, that blade is a, yeah, it's like a three and a half inch blade for sure. We'll, we'll, do, we'll talk more about this in, in the review and the impressions video. This is just an unboxing first impressions, right? This is my first experience with this knife. Yeah, this is not one that I would typically buy and it would be really hard to find and I, I'm really excited to get to try this out. So let's do a nice close look up here. So you can see that beautiful carbon fiber, gorgeous pivot. It looks like it's uh, screws on both sides, so it's probably not a captive pivot, so you might need two screwdrivers in case you didn't know. t 8 looks like the screws and we'll confirm that. It looks like we have just two body screws right here, one for the... Uh, one for the for the uh, clip and then one for the backspace. Well, they probably work both backspaces two and one. The the um, the lanyard hole is not prioritized. You can definitely do a really nice deep carry. You see that it's almost completely concealed, and that's really nice. Even the the sharp corner here, it's not harsh. It's not it's not sharp and, and aggressive. It is it's still very you know strong, very pronounced, which I really like that a lot. And that wonderful curve on that blade just gives you a good feel into your hand. Yeah, that's a really nice user. Definitely, I think, I think I believe what he said is he wanted this to be a user knife, and I can see that. This is definitely a user knife. This may be something I might have to try to go and hunt for. I really, really like this a lot. Wow, I, I don't think I would have ever tried this, but the fact that I got to try this out, man, I like it. I really do. And uh, let's see who the designer is on here, does it say? So I don't know if you guys know, feel free to comment down below. Some of you people probably know more than me before the review. I will definitely look that up because I'm very curious now. Man, uh, and I always like their clips, which is nice. With Spyderco wire clips, you can always get like a lynch clip. If, if you're not a fan of the wire clip, you can put a titanium clip on there and even a lynch clip, whatever you'd like. That's the nice thing, it's, it's really great. And I love the fact that these are all T8s. That's just a really, that's a, that's a bonus to me, oops. Got my finger underway. But beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Now I wonder, can I do the middle finger flick? No, it's definitely a spidey flick, so, but the spidey flick works. You know, and then the thing about the spidey flick, you can also do the spidey opening, right? Where you put the fingers in and you hold it like that. If you're not used to that, be careful. That's something that's, uh, if, you, if you've never done it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. But man, that action is beautiful. This reminds me of my pair of three. I love that drop, see? Look at that, just drop. And let's feel that. Yeah, no blade play, no blade play at all. It's really in there nice and solid. Let's see after we're, oh yeah, still dead center. Actually, I think it's even better dead center than it was before. Before I thought it might have been off a hair, but it lined right back up after a little action. You know, probably maybe the box was on the side and I don't know, gravity, I, I don't know, who knows, but it is definitely a dead center. And you know, you look at the thickness, it's a good thick stock, but it's not aggressively crazy thick stock as a, like the Shaman as you can see, or Shaman is much, much thicker, but this is also a bigger knife and a more aggressive knife, you know, and this is a more, I would call this a gentleman's carry. This would definitely be something I could carry in church and carry to work, something I could carry, you know, on a business trip or something. I'm, a, I'm not flying, obviously, but it's something definitely if I was driving or uh, going there, but really great knife. I really do like that. Yeah, this is awesome. This is definitely a cool knife. Um, Never experienced this one before, but I am really glad I'm getting a chance to. So that's super, super awesome. Uh, he did say I could, you know, EDC it a little bit, and and even if I if I absolutely had to, maybe take it apart. But I don't really see a need to do that. So I, I don't want to do that. That's just such a nice knife. But uh, you know, 
I, I have no need to go apart. I'm sure it's washers. It's a steel liner. It's got a beautiful red back spacer. It's a wire clip. Titanium scales. That is not um, ply peel. I do not believe it. Yeah, that's not ply peel because you can see that all the way through. Can you see that? It's all the way through. So that is a consistent, consistent carbon fiber. Yeah, even here where you can see where it's rounded here, that's definitely. So this is a, a, a solid piece of carbon fiber. It's not G10 with a, a carbon fiber ply peel put on top, which sometimes they do. Like my smock had that, and that's why I upgraded the scales on my smock with the mint boss scales. But um, I'm sure you could get a ton of scales for this. I mean, uh, uh, the Kapara, I'm sure, has some custom scales somewhere. And uh, if you're into that, you can definitely do that. Matter of fact, I think Rocky was talking about doing something like that. So I'm kind of curious what he's going to do with it. I will say that is one of the nicer looking carbon fibers that, that Spyderco has out there. I'm very impressed with it. If I were to buy this, I don't think I would... Um, I don't think I would place these. I like these so much. This is really a great quality. Now, I might change the clip. I definitely am I'm, I'm one of those. I would probably put a titanium clip on there for sure. That would be the one thing that I would absolutely do. Uh, otherwise, no, there's not much I would do here because otherwise, this is such a great user. And you can you really get a nice push cut with that. You know, it's a nice groove there for your thumb to fit in there. So as you know, I have medium to medium large hands. So in the regular groove of the knife, I still have room. So definitely a large to extra large, maybe even double extra large if you kind of go over a little bit could fit that. But if you choke up, absolutely double to triple extra large hands, no problems. And there's even a nice groove there. Now there's no jimping like you traditionally have on Spydercos. Like on my smock, there's definitely the jimping, the, the para three and the, the military para two, uh, the paramilitary two and the para three, they all have jimping there as well. And even the Spyderco smock has jimping, but this doesn't. But again, this just seems more like a gentleman's carry. It's a very discreet, it, it seems very um, discreet, small, uh, not necessarily small, but you know, thinner, lighter kind of carry, but yet very functional, very, like, like you could really do some serious work with this knife. That's what I like about that. It has that very kind of, um, uh, I want to say um, very reserved kind of look, but yet you know it could break out and really do some hard work kind of knife. That's what I like about that. But it, it and, and it's not heavy at all. Uh, let's see, where's the, the center on this one here? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be right. Yeah, it's going to be right about here. So if you're carrying it back here, it's going to feel pretty balanced here. If you choke up, you're definitely going to feel a little weight backward, but it'll be pretty balanced when you hold it here, which makes it nice because if your knife is out and you're doing some work, you're still going to feel very balanced with the knife. It's not going to feel like it's overly weighting down this way. You can definitely cut that way and you can pivot well to really manipulate the knife without tiring out. So I don't know if you know, that's kind of one of the reasons why we talk about the center of balance or the center of gravity and, the, and the, where it pivots. Because after a while, depending on how much you're turning and twisting, there is some weight that's added to one way or the other and it can cause a little fatigue. And, it, and for most things that most people will ever do, you'll never notice it, right? You'll never probably ever notice it. But if you are out there using this knife every day, hard working, after a while, it can fatigue a little bit. You can feel a little strain on parts of your muscles than more in the others. A nice balanced knife is just easier to wield, easier to control. It's easier to manipulate and, and turn and twist and cut with. So it's just a lot of benefit to that. But again, the action is just really sweet. I love that compression. And you know, even this compression lock, typically they're, they're, they're hard to get to and they're hard to engage and disengage, but this one locks up really nicely. And you can see that lock up on this, I wanna say is a good 20, 25%. It's certainly locked in there really, really well. It is not barely hanging on. If you look at that, you can see it's bright with the uh, tang of the blade really well. So that's really nice. And that's what gives it that really locked in feel. It's not, not there's no pivot uh, um, um, blade play, if you will, right? And there is a detent, so let's go ahead and watch that. So we'll see the detent. Yeah, you can hear that? So there is a detent right there. It goes right into the detent hole. There you go. And no detent, no detent lash. So the detent ball, if you didn't know, let's see if we can find it. Okay, if you can see it, it's gonna be down in the back here. So the compression lock is up here, right? It's this bar right here, where like a liner lock is normally right here. Compression lock is up here, it's kind of reversed. And the detent ball is gonna be back there. And when you clear it, you still have to clear the detent ball right here. See, so the, here's, the, here's the detent ball that I'm clearing. You can see that once I go past the detent, and then, I don't know if you can see the detent ball. Can we see it? It's probably hard to see, but it is right there. Typically, it's behind that pivot. Yeah, it's right 
there behind the pivot. Maybe this, there we go. Can we see that? I think. Uh, I'm trying to get you to get a good angle, but it's back in there. So when, when, when the um, compression lock engages in the tang, the tang of the blade that engages is going to be right here in this little cutout part. It goes right in there and engages on that tang part. And so that's where the, the pivot ball is going to be having to clear. It's going to have to clear this little angle right here to go past, right? So it's going over this this part of, of the blade part. And so that if you take this apart, there'll be a track that goes around here from here to where it goes over the tang to into the, uh, the there's gonna be a hole in the knife, a little detent hole. Now, typically a really well done knife, which I assume, yeah, this is definitely that. You don't see the detent ball. Sometimes the detent ball will will show up here. You know, it depends on how people do it. Let me see this. Does this, does this have the detent ball showing up? So the detent ball is going to be on this side over here. So let's see. Yeah, the detent ball is completely concealed here as well. And it's going to it's going to go usually somewhere right in Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be right in here somewhere. All right. And you can see this one also has the detent. You can hear that as well when it goes in. So there's the detent and now I'm clearing the detent cuz it, it, this is it's a much heavier blade, so it tends to be a little tighter. Um, but you still get the flickability action with the weight of the blade. I mean, we're talking probably twice as heavy as this knife. But, I mean, also, to be fair, you know, the, uh, the liner lock is, uh, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same uh, um, thickness. But this liner lock is going to be as strong as any frame lock. So if you're wondering always about frame locks, frame locks, they have a little cutout inside. And that part where it's cut out on the frame is about the same width. So they all have about the same strength, right? Oops. I'm going to get used to carrying it a little lower and flicking up like that. But man, that is just so smooth. Let me do that again. Yeah, there we go. It just drops in really nice. And the reverse flick, the spidey flick, is really sweet. Let's see, can we do the one finger? Yeah, I can do the front finger which is really nice. And it just works really well. I like that. Full axis, both sides. So very easy to do. Now, the only thing about this, yeah. Okay, so I can do that. I can drop it on the left hand, catch it on the finger choil right there. So I'm not cutting my finger. If I go out too far, then you're gonna, you know, guillotine slice your finger, catch it there, and then you can close it like that. So that's the nice thing. Now, if you have the compression lock, you can usually close it like this. I'll show you what I mean. So like this one over here, oops, get in here. Oh, I'm sorry. And then I can usually do that and close it like that, you see? Because I can actually close it and have a, still a full grip on there to be able to close it. So, so there you go. And that's, oops, and that's the nice thing about a, uh, with this compression lock. I can almost work like a lefty, right? So there you go. Well, that's the Kapara, the Kapara, I hope I'm saying that correctly. A beautiful, beautiful little knife. If you haven't had a chance to check this out, Definitely something to look at. I think it's going to be on my hunt list for sure now. I am super excited to have tried this. It's such a quality knife. I'm just incredibly pleasantly surprised and really honored. And thank you very much to, to the subscriber who was so kind to let me borrow this for a review. I will definitely be sending this back to him. Probably send a few stickers as well, of course. But uh, what an honor. What an honor. I do appreciate that. And, and this is really great. Wonderful, wonderful knife. Um, yeah, so I'm going to carry it, not carry it, but I'll have it for a couple of days at my desk, you know, and I'll carry, um, work with it at the desk, flick it and handle it and maybe cut some paper to kind of get a feel for it. Uh, I didn't check the blade because I don't know, I mean, I don't know how sharp it is. He might already have used it a bit. Still feels pretty sharp. You know, Spyderco has also some of the nicest sh um, sharpened blades directly from, directly from um, the factory. They really do an impressive job. So, well, there you go. That is the Kapara. Thank you so much to the subscriber, Rocky. I appreciate it very much. Hey, if you guys um, enjoyed this video and, and you liked what you saw, you heard, it was informative, it was entertaining, it was just you know, worth your time, would you consider subscribing down below and hitting the like button? Liking and subscribing really helps out the channel, helps me grow and uh, helps me to do more stuff. You know, uh, awesome subscribers like, you know, Rocky and others will really help help out the channel, but also it allows us to grow where we can get more of the manufacturers to do things for uh, for the channel, which ultimately I'm gonna pass on to you, obviously. Like we had the recent Artisan Cutlery giveaway. That was really cool. Thank you to Artisan Cutlery. I'm gonna keep saying thank you to them because it was a great night. It was the pyrite. It was the Warren Cliff pyrite, which if you haven't checked that out, check it out. Anyways, um, 
This is a great knife, and uh, I'm going to go check if uh, White Mountain Knives has it, because if you didn't know, there's a 10% coupon. I don't know if it applies to this, but it might. You might get 10% off if they have it in stock, so go check them out. But uh, there you go. Um, if you liked and subscribed already, maybe also consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content. And if you've done all that, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's robs underscore nerdy underscore knives on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.